Hey and well met friends, and Dang here for another episode of Lotro Players Adventures, episode 47. And I am joined, as always, by the crazy people that are with us now. And uh, we are also welcoming Terry Adwin as a full-time uh, co-host for as long as the show continues, which might not be very long, but welcome. <laughs> Thank hey, you. Welcome to the show. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are on the hunt for warbands in Rohan right now, and um, while we're hunting for those, it's a good time to mention that there is not much more group content that we have not already done left in the game. It's really just warbands, the uh, group area in uh, uh, Gondor, and also the uh, first two Helms uh, Helms Deep instances oh, hey, or epic battles. Cinder, Cinder. Cinder. Yep, I just saw okay. the arrow. Um, okay. We'll turn around then. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the it's hard to see with all the other green it ones. It is hard to see with all the other green ones. Get that cinder, alright. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> cinder isn't gonna last very long. <laughs> nope, not long enough for us to well, get over there, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going full speed. Oh hey. Dragon Piner in the lead. I don't think the rest of us stand a chance. No. Yeah, but I'm on a yeah, but I'm on a heavy, so. They might wait for us. I'm passing somebody. All right, the lag made me think I'm passing somebody. I should say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's this warband? I found Cinder right here. Yeah, we're all just like sitting here around him. We okay. Yeah, we'll wait. We have aggroed him yet. I, I'm, all right, we're all here now. Level. We, we're all oops, here now. So, somebody aggroed him. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. We're all here now. So. Well, well, hey, well, there we go. Finish. Oh, that's why I didn't get the quest because I had the quest sitting in my log for about three thousand years. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Probably since so, Rohan came out. <laughs> uh, apparently, but we're going to the next four band. Oh, poor Cinder. He died in, what, like two hits? Actually, the Easterling area is... Well, if we were at level, the Easterling area oh, might oh, be good. Hey, oh, yeah, I do no. this on purpose every time. <laughs> Look what you made me do. Oh, um, hey, I'm alive. <laughs> I'm not. I had to retreat. I've never had to do that before, but the lag the lag killed me. Oh, uh, I managed I to not go follow. over the... <laughs> I All right. just before falling. Well, I'm already I'll, in the next zone. I'll catch up with y'all. So... <laughs> but the good news is I can finish the Cinder quest. There we go. Alright, so... so that other band in the world. Uh, is it up? He took us into the Norcross. <laughs> is it up? Uh, yeah, and I did. Um, I'm looking. If it's not up, uh, we can't do I it. I got Scarn in my <laughs> box for... <laughs> <laughs> for my spoils, you whoop de doo. All right, well, the other warband in the uh, world isn't too exciting, so let's just move yeah, on to the Norcrofts. I'll go. Okay. And the, there is a warband up right now in the Norcrofts. I'll wait in for everybody to North get all caught up. Yeah, wait for me, because I went away on my tiny little pony. <laughs> okay. Well, the, the Hobbit light steed is so small, it's kind of funny. I hit a rock. <laughs> My dumb horse has maybe hit should, so many rocks at this maybe point. Maybe I'll put, like, Drac or somebody on follow. <laughs> There's just, like, eternal birds swarming around my horse's head, I think, from all the rocks I've hit. Alright, well, let's forget about Spryder and go ahead and go on to the land. <laughs> Fine. I'm not healing you, though. You're not that far away, oh, and I don't expect to need heals at all today, <laughs> so... And if oh, not, I'll just I'm die and go to the next zone. So it's not too big of a deal. Did the warband just die? Uh, yeah, but there's another one to our right. Our right? There, there's one to the east, I mean. <laughs> it might be the same oh, one. They the, only pass it, for so far and then they reset. Yeah, it's okay. Control, I think. Let's head up here and around. Where are we going? <laughs> he moved. Now he's down. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm heading for the troll. Yeah, I'm heading towards oh, okay. this oh, you guys, thing. Oh, that one did come back up. Yep, it did come back up. Down. Yeah. 
I wasn't well, joking. Split up. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we split the party. <laughs> well, we already killed this warband Af before I accepted the quest because I'm not that smart. So, yeah. Okay, here's the troll. If you can, save him. Well, uh, okay, I won't do the first attack. I'll just circle until we're in combat. Okay, the troll's back over there. So, anyway, we do plan to end the show not too long from now. Um, basically, it's just how long it takes us to get through the various uh, group areas. We may return back for later group areas that get out of the game. We're not sure yet. just depends on how everyone's schedules end up being. But uh, that's kind of game plan for now, so uh, we'll see what happens. And what I've done this week... Um, I played a lot of Train Fever. Also started school. That's always fun. Um, I completed a jumping puzzle that Sithrith and Athelros hadn't in Guild Wars 2. And that took basically a whole day. <laughs> so, um, what else have I done? That's pretty much it, I think. It's been a very busy week, even though it doesn't take very long to list off those things. So... There we go, there's the troll quest. Alright, let's go ahead and kill him. Well, that was easy. Oh, did my AoE attacks attract other things? I'm sorry. <laughs> there's a chance <laughs> that your AoE attacks attracted other things. There's another one up in the south. Up in the south. <laughs> up in the south. <laughs> it is oh, the upper man. part of the south, I suppose, but... Mm. Well, no. he, <laughs> he apparently bought his map from an Argentinian who puts the south on top of the map instead of at the bottom. Yep, there are parts of the world that do do that for really good reasons, actually. And at one point, there was a proposal joke on the uh, the West Wing, I don't know if it was an actual proposal in, in history, to do just that, and it's we actually watched that in geography, because it was a lesson for that. So Back in like sixth grade? No, back in like college. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, the only geography class I took was in like sixth grade. Take it in college, it's awesome and easy and fun, if you are I good at geography. I river dismounts me. Jump over it, you can. You can jump over yeah, it. So much for that out of hypothesis. <laughs> okay, there's two warbands. I think we're going to try to pull them together. It's... Suit Cog. That's a solo one, I think. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. I think that's uh, going to be a favorite of a lot of people in when they fix it. Is Soot Cog able to be... Um... There's one... Which one's uh, the one solo one? Because we need to attack him Suit second. Cog right here. Okay, we'll attack him in a bit. Let's pull the other one over here. So if you're at the other one, feel free to go ahead and pull it over. Most people are at the other one. Swinter. Okay, yeah, let's pull him over. I'm just not sure if he's going to follow me this far, but we'll see. He might, we'll see. If you guys pull the other one towards us, um, we I think... Oh, right, that's, that's great. None of us got credit for it. <laughs> I got credit for it. Oh, that's just great. That's all that matters. Nope, he broke off. Yeah, I think because somebody else got aggro. Well, we finished that one, so there we go. Alright, let's not try to pull two again together because that didn't work well at all. <laughs> okay. Let's head to the Suckcrofts. We are blazing through here. Um, 
Apparently not. All right, uh, Terry Adwin, what have you been up to? Oh, not a whole lot of stuff because I spent a couple days this week sleeping and I played Sims Medieval a lot. Okay, how is uh, that game? I've I've heard some things about it. It's but, uh, a lot of fun. It's probably way more fun than I should be having. <laughs> is it? It seems like it's more like combat. Well, I mean, I guess compared to The Sims, anything's more combat based. But it's less sa- it's less sandboxy than straight Sims. You have different quests that you have to do and. Your different PCs have uh, goals that they have to meet each day, and um, it's it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of tongue-in-cheek humor, and then there's a lot of not at all tongue-in-cheek humor. So <laughs> okay. Um, but I did start volume three with my Hobbit mini. Nice. And yeah, we had to go back and do um, book six of volume one because you can't do get gullet ear. And we opted to leave, uh, what's his name in the Shire? Helros. We opted to leave him in the Shire. Which I didn't know you could do, but I saw a post on the forums that suggested you could. So I was like, oh, let's see if what, let's see if that actually works. So Helros is saved. He's not going to die. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we don't know that. He might die maybe, during yeah. the uh, scouring. Well, you know, yeah, that was what I was saying. I was like, well, maybe... It, it, he'll live through whatever's coming for the Rangers Jump and he'll die during the oh, scout. Ending got well, I wasn't going full speed, and so my jump did not go full speed either. Because I was waiting for you guys to catch up, and then... So the moral of the story is never wait for people to catch up. Oh, and hey, that's... Four, four masters. It's up. a raid. Hey. Well, let's do it. 85 oh, raid. Good. Who good? Where are you? Is it... Um, I don't have an arrow. I, just I don't have an arrow either. South... Let's all spread out and we'll find him. Like just... Oh, there it is. Hello. There it is. Oh, and I forgot there are Gondor warbands that we'll be doing as well. <laughs> Oh, he's not been hurt at all yet. Doesn't he have a shield on him or something like that? No, it was just we were all focusing on the mobs. Or maybe he did, but it's down now. Actually, he does have a buff on him when his pack is up. Because now he has a, puff, a debuff on him that he's packless. Aww. <laughs> yeah, we killed all the other wargs. <laughs> Not sure it should count for warg riders. Yeah, it's they're... close enough. They're, I don't know. They're riding with an orc as opposed to a goblin, so it works. <laughs> maybe he okay. Plot line. Maybe he <laughs> takes. Maybe he uses them all as mounts, and they're all just like his personal mounts. <laughs> like you know in a uh, western when he when there's like the cowboy and he has like another horse that he is taking as well it's like that but with wargs <laughs> oh, I just see him like stomping somewhere in Rohan and changing the saddle and <laughs> taking good care of them <laughs> it's totally a pot line he went to Warg Hand. Oh. Uh... <laughs> so anyway, what uh, have you done anything else this week, Terry Edwin? Um, my Tuesday group did more Angmar. We finished out Western, all of the Fellowship stuff over on the Western side, and went to whatever that dwarf village is on the Eastern side. And we're going to start leveling again next week. All right. And that's Got pretty it, much yay. it. I did forget that Thank I did goodness. go to uh, Mythgard Mondays this week. I forgot about that. Yeah, I did and, that too. Um, it was a lot of fun. Those stupid battered rings of Rohan. We did the uh, Garth the Garwin 
quest uh, instances. Alright, let's head south, I guess. We'll see if there's anything to the south and then we'll swing around. Darth Garwin with level 100 is basically a lot of everything. I don't not. think there are any that belong in the south. I, yeah, I think we're the rest just of them are on the other side of the river on the. We're scouting west. finally. We'll figure it out. Calm down. Okay. It's just, okay. You know, well, what's the point of scouting <laughs> if he knows for a fact? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, he looked up on Pinopedia in his head, so that's cheating. Pinopedia. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I played my other champion for about 10 minutes, which was long enough to decide that I really, really don't like two-handed weapons on champions at all. No, and I hate people... Well, I don't hate people that make the argument, but I hate it when people make the argument <laughs> that it's much better. Because it's, it's, it's so slow. It is probably better at damage, but it is so much less satisfying, and I'd rather be having fun playing than doing a little bit more damage. I don't think it's better damage. It doesn't feel like better damage. Um, the only time well, I can depends. see it is maybe in blue line if you're going to do some tanking and you don't have to be as fast. It depends on what weapon you choose, too. Because there are some really good two-handers out there. Apparently, I don't know if they still are better, but at the time, there was of like uh, Isengard, and there was they actually were better statted. And so since then, they've either have been or haven't been, Oops. and people have been debating the whole time which one's better. Yeah, I know someone was complaining about my Bjorning using, about my Bjorning dual wielding, saying, but two handed weapons are so much better. I think I do use a two hander for my Bjorning, but that's because I see him as more. That's because I already have a champion, so I don't need another one. <laughs> So, yeah, I was sort of went. I already had a captain, so I didn't. Oh, need hey, another there's one. a warband oh, there cramp uh, to be. Yep, okay, he's right uh, northeast of Snowborn, and he's moving even further to the east. Well, if I can get out of Snowborn. Yeah, that's the problem. Getting out of mm, Snowborn. Probably shouldn't have gone through there. Hopefully, that's not the one we just killed. Yeah, that's. that's no, the one we just killed was. Uh, bug, uh, That's right, yeah. Cramped. Just making sure. <laughs> can I go up this cliff? I can, huh? Well, you're lucky. And let's hold up for everybody else. No. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Hi, Cramp. You've got a lot of health there, don't you? I'm kind of surprised they didn't make warbands still attack you. At least, like, bigger warbands when you're higher level. I've got him focused. We had a target assist. Oh, my war steed's about to die. Can you heal that war steeds? Help. I can. Did I just heal it? No, I was out of range, I guess. That's part of the problem is you never know where the range is. You are way out of range. Wow. Yeah. Okay, come here. I'm fighting cramp. Where is <laughs> here? Yeah, that helped out a lot. Thank you. Yeah, he was feeling cramped, so that's oh. why. Wait, Drac, did you place a trap on the ground accept while this. on him out? Yes, yes I did. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible. Uh, I accepted the quest two yep. seconds too late. Alright, well. Oh, hey, there's... Um, let's the head... One just killed his backup if oh, you want yeah. to kill it again. No, let's not. Let's head okay. over Is towards the, the Intoid. No, he's not. We're heading towards the end, Wade. Oh, we get all the birds with it. I hate that one. <laughs> <laughs> like it's like fighting a. Oh, 
The wretched falconer. <laughs> so are we going up to Snowborn or? We are not. Oh, Snowborn, the Wildermore. We are going towards the Entwade and then over towards Wildermore. As discussed in our strategy meeting I'm earlier. I'm sorry. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should show you a very funny video, but I will later. It's called Don't Be Late to a Lotro Raid. Uh, you've shown it to me. Oh. But everyone else should look it up. Uh, it looks like he's up now. What? Where is Birdman? Birdman. To the north. <laughs> oh, yeah, there he is. Yep, let's all head over there. That's on the way anyway, so that's good. Maybe on the way. It's this way. Oh. Yeah, it's on the way. It's on a major road to the Entweed. Caban Master. Yep, Birdman. <laughs> Birdman. 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 The bird orc of Rohan. The bird orc of Rohan. He's <laughs> rather hideous. His birds are rather hideous. Your face is rather hideous. It actually kind of is. What? <laughs> we had a discussion on Guild Wars about that, but anyway. Look, he's dead. My character in Guild Wars actually is kind of hideous. Yay, the wicked Birdman's dead. Ding dong, the Birdman's dead. Which old Birdman? The whatever Pineleaf yeah. gave him the name of. Yay. The Bird Orc of Rohan. The Bird Orc of Rohan. Not even a man. Oh, Andang just kind of left us. We're busy fighting mobs. Psh, mobs. I'm scouting. And okay. his guys is the least stealthy burglar ever. Yeah, I am the least stealthy burglar ever. <laughs> As now I wish I would have brought my burg. My champion. I mean, I don't even fit into this time period with this kid. So. <laughs> like I haven't even. What is your outfit anyway? I can't even see it. It's no, awesome. I'll, I'll inspect you, and we'll see what it's it is. It's awesome. Whatever is it? It's not that one. It's the one with the vest. Oh wow! <laughs> Wait, no, that's a different one. You have two outfits with that same vest. I do. One of them's the Fellowship Walk one, I, I believe. Know, but... so that's the one what gave the... me the idea for this. Wait, oh, you have your cloak hidden. Okay. The only reason I have this outfit was in order to make the the old enders I had that were like red and blue and awesome with me fighting the drake. Let's wait. Because oh, my character to had to be big, wearing all uh, <laughs> all black to stand out from the other environment because my armor at the time wasn't good. So anyway, that's how this outfit came. I'm a cowboy. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If anyone has the cowboy hat, it's me. Except it has feathers. If anyone has the cowboy hat, it is my lore master. Can we attack now? Oh. Um, yeah. Not everyone's here. Who Not cares? <laughs> Oh, uh, they put the debuff where you can't turn as tight. I hate that. Oh, when they charge you and all of a sudden you're turning like... In yeah. The there we go. Yay. <laughs> Alright, so let's make our way to Wildermore. Oh, and we are, there. we are going to be taking the windy path. Well, we're we're making our way over there. I didn't say we're going to Wildermore. Don't get ahead of me, Pine Leaf. 
We haven't even been in the Int Watch. Mm. Yeah, we have. That was in the Int Watch fail. Not really. Yeah. That warband no, counts for the Int Watch. Okay, I'm not seeing any warbands up. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> Track got the orc head on a pike. And of course, I already have it, and it's bound, so I can't even. Yeah. Uh, Send it to another character. Thanks for that, Turbine. <laughs> well, it's almost as if the RAND number generator didn't like you. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. <laughs> Alright, I have the quest for the next Warband. Apparently it's back down this way. I didn't get a pop-up oh, yet. Math I, did, I see. Oh, no, it's up this way. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, I know, because you have to go south to spawn it, according to this quest. Which is really weird, but... Ah, uh, there it popped up. Yeah, you had to go south to a quest ring to spawn it. Really weird, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> We're still in combat, Poor though. Goblin. One shout, and it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. Okay, have we got out of combat now? Yes, we have. Alright, let's make our way up to Wildermore. Completed quest of the Entwash Vale. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm certainly getting a good collection of banners today. Yep. Most of which are going to be vendored. Most? Getting power potions. I got red agates. Ooh. Just what I needed. <laughs> there are warbands in Fangorn. Do we want to go in there and do those? Mm, I don't want to run into trees every five seconds. Yeah. That's why we're going to Wildermore where we'll run into trees and... All the time. <laughs> uh, I gotta figure out how do we get around here. <laughs> you have to wind up the path, finally. Wind up the path. Where is the path? Finding the path that winds. It's on your map. It is on your map. Oh, hey, Andang, there's a warband to the east. There is one to the east. Oh, great. Snow mounted combat oh, warband have... lag. No, sure. I I cannot find it at all. All right. So... It's to the a little bit to the left of where it says it's it's there hidden. It it's still not hidden as well as Estel Din finally and you've said that that's in plain sight, so <laughs> it kind of is though. No, it's not. All right, let me see. When in doubt, uh, let's see. I found it. Orc cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, you found it. I. Oh, you found it. All right. So, yeah, I see no sign of it. Let's see. So, said so it's to the. And you just head towards her dot. <laughs> well, I can't even get towards your dot. Your. Edwin, can you head back to Pineleaf and help him yeah, up? Yeah, I'm going back to Pineleaf. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, my. Oh, oh. It's a tiny little thing, if that's it. Yep, yeah, this is it right here. We didn't say it was a big entrance. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be small enough so that they can hide it from the lore. It's better hidden. It is better hidden than Astral Den. I disagree. Anything is better than this. It's the worst kept secret of Middle Earth. 
Well, it's a giant. Okay, this is a giant plateau that has snow falling from it and clouds over it all the time. I don't know. <laughs> it's like the if you look up, it's the least hidden secret of all time, especially oh, when you consider going. Yeah, no, I don't I didn't know. Say Wildermore was hidden. I said the path. The, the nonsense. Path from... You can see the path. Hell. You just can't see where it starts. Silly archers. A daily hunt. Mm, nah. No thank you. I don't need to hunt this daily. Oh, cow. Moo. Oh, I am targeting the cow now. Okay. Yeah, it means business. It does. <laughs> <laughs> there, kill the cow. Stupid cow. It's actually probably an intelligent cow. You know what? Today it's stupid. <laughs> oh, Drac. Okay. Um, there you are. If he had one... Yeah, I was stunned. I couldn't get back on my horse. If he had his uh, letters changed around, he could be the Congo orc. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, stupid dismounts. Just keep in mind, Drac, mounts are great because you want them in Guild Wars 2. <laughs> really? Seriously? Just get dismounted. <laughs> Just he has a lot of dismounts. step away from the boss. <laughs> I'm not even near him, and he's still dismounting me. Well, you do more damage dismounted yeah. anyway, so he's just helping you fight. <laughs> Here, I'll dismount you, and you can kill me better. There you go. So anyway, Spryra, <laughs> what have you been up to this week? Um, I created a rune keeper. Oh, really? Why? Yes, uh, because I bought it a while ago and I never made one. So I made one. All right. What do you think so far? Um, it's r really OP until I get attacked, like directly. <laughs> so yep. that, that sounds like a rune keeper. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's no in between. Like either you're owning everyone or you're getting owned so I figured out how to crowd control two enemies but more than that's kinda difficult okay let's find another one we'll go clockwise around here alright have you done anything else this week other than creating your runekeeper um, I restarted playing The Sims because I looked up, you know, I was curious about, oh, should I get The Sims 4? And the general consensus is not too bright, so... Well, actually, they had uh, their first... Uh, it's not called a stuff pack. It's actually a game pack, and it's, like, between a stuff pack and an expansion. And so it's cheaper in price. And um, from what I've heard, people actually really like it. So... Yeah, maybe give it yeah. an expansion or two, and The Sims 4 yeah, might be a good game. I've, that's what I've heard. I've heard you should wait and see what comes out, and then try the game. Because it's apparently hard to transition between The Sims 3, which is what I'm really used to, and The Sims 4. So. Yeah, it's a lot close. They took almost a step back as far as zoning goes, but they kind of had to because of the amount of graphics and things that they're using. Right, right. So. And I really want to try the building system, because I built a house today in The Sims 3, and <laughs> it took me probably three hours to get it exactly how I wanted, Yeah, which is a long time to build a house. So, yeah. Don't fall into the river or frozen pool thing. Lake. Yeah. I believe Thanks they call it a friend. lake. <laughs> it's a pool thing. It doesn't have a name. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it does. <laughs> <laughs> Lies. <laughs> Pretty sure we can go to a settlement that's 
having a rough time right now, and they'll be really angry that you think that they don't have a name for their lake. <laughs> They're like, yeah. that's the one thing we still have. <laughs> that's the one thing they still have. Uh, they need more stuff. You are really helpful to these people, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> that's why we gotta give them more stuff. Gosh, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what do you name the lake, then? Um, the lake. That's it. <laughs> the lake. Do you just feel compelled to take the role of a Thalros today? <laughs> <laughs> no. Channeling her inner at Thalros. He is. <laughs> She's been oh. pulling stuff. It's been... I didn't mean to pull that last one. It just kind of happened. And I have the stuff on my screen that if I saw it in Don't Starve, I'd be I'd be just about to keel over. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't do that, Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need you. <laughs> oh, trees. Are we going into the trees? Because that's where the next warband is. There's one on the edge, if I remember right, and there's also one, like, way inside. I don't think we'll do the one way inside, but... We'll see what happens. You mean the one that every time I want to go into the forest, I say, okay, how am I going to get in there now past this stupid thing? See, I love this forest. I don't know why everybody hates the forest. It's awesome. Because there's a warband guarding the entrance. Yeah. You can go around. You don't have to follow the road. <laughs> Which we're doing. <laughs> That's your number one mistake right there, is following the road. Uh, oh, okay, hello. You don't follow the road, you, you have to fight through 500 mobs in order to get to where you're going. <laughs> yeah, you're going to want to dismount for this one. No. I'm going to ride around on my pretty horse and run into things. Fark. All right, here we go. Oh dear! I have to yeah, I'm gonna need a mini. <laughs> um, I'm miniing. That's a thing. <laughs> like the mounted heels are so OP. Yeah, they seem very good. Well, first of all, they have a huge range because you're supposed to be with other mounted people. Yeah, Anding, are you the only one not mounted? Or there no, like there's several people not mounted, and we're going to go into the forest, so... I like my, my war pony. We have some people with us who aren't level 100, so we're going to have to kill things. Uh, okay. That 86, 81, like yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Otherwise, they're going to aggro the landscape. Yeah, well, it, they might not want to come in here. <laughs> Too late. Wait, what level are they? 80. 80. Mm. And yeah, yeah, that'll be tricky. We're all just following in. <laughs> We're definitely going to want to wipe these guys out. Okay. Well, following ending should definitely be something that everybody knows not to do. At the very least, it should be an achievement if you successfully right. follow ending. <laughs> well, that's an achievement I keep on failing at. <laughs> yep, that's basically been the case since Fellowship of the Creeps has. <laughs> Don't say that to me, Orc. I'll tell your mama. It's mama's dead. 
Aww. Oh, is an orphan orc? There's actually a 90% chance that all orcs mothers are still alive. Just saying. Well, that particular one. He has a sad history. <laughs> Aww. Why would orc mothers necessarily be alive? Because of uh, some passages that exist. They are kind of like uh, bee queens. You want to keep them alive. Except for they don't have power, they're just used for having more orcs come along. Okay. They don't go into the trenches, supposedly, so. Well, and that's different from many human societies in what way? Yeah, but the uh, orc parents' homes aren't exactly being actively attacked by <laughs> everyone. Their homeland right now is like the most peaceful place. Aside from, you know, the whole not peaceful at all. <laughs> the fact that, that orcs are constantly fighting amongst themselves? Yeah, aside from that fact, it's pretty peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> the constant conflict is the only thing that keeps it from being peaceful. <laughs> As you can tell, finally, our new debate sex segment will be interesting. <laughs> For the news. And if you yeah. don't know what we're talking about, listen to the news this week. Should be interesting. Uh, that's for sure. <laughs> It's so distracting having two female hobbits yelling at the same time. <laughs> I don't know which one's mine. I'm sure that's what the male hobbits say. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, you can't don't know which one's screaming like a minstrel and which one's screaming like a warden? Because they both scream the same way, yeah. Why are we going back here again? <laughs> because you wanted to find a warband that's apparently back in here. There is one at the very end here. Follow the ice covered road. <laughs> It'd be terrible if they took it out. Actually, are you talking about the the tree? There's one way back in here. No, it's a party of orcs that patrol around back in here. Okay, because there is a tree warband also that's a bit closer to the entrance. At uh, least they're used to. I don't know if it, they kept it because there were a lot of people complaining about it. Because it was right at the entrance to this camp. Yeah, well, let's go inside the camp and see if we can find a warband. If not, then we'll just ride back out, and this is the most useless time in Adventure's history. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be an achievement. That will be an achievement. I'm sure it's not the most useless. Okay, maybe those repeat skirmishes to gain levels might have been, but this is pretty close. Alright, well, either oh, hey. somebody killed him. To Alessa for getting a level. Or he moved on. One of the two. Alright, I'm just gonna storm right out of here. So, good luck to everyone. I'll see you out of here. <laughs> <laughs> 
ending. <laughs> Isn't he helpful? I am. I'm pulling all the mobs way ahead of time for you guys. No, you're not. They're not attacking you. Well, this is true. I'm almost <laughs> pulling all the mobs way ahead of time for you guys. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. <laughs> yeah. So have you done anything else this week, Spryder? Uh, no. Alright, well, Drac, what have you been up to? Lotro-wise, uh, attempted to do retaking a Pelagir, the six-man with four people, and it didn't Ooh. work out too well. Then we, got, <laughs> then we got a fifth, and we got a little further than what we did with the four, but we still didn't complete it. Um, that seems really, really hard. It wouldn't really it be? Simple. Wouldn't it be crazy if we actually did better than your group on adventures, the group that's terrible? <laughs> I'm sure you will, because we'll probably have a lot of people. But yeah, anyway. Um, so that was it, Lotro wise. Uh, yeah, wow, we have just like so many things following us right now. Yeah, you probably do. I had something hit me for some reason. I'm guessing somebody else got us in combat, and so that's our 81 probably did, and so... Yeah, we got quite the train of orcs running behind us here. Um, yep, that was it for Lotro. I played some Defiance as well. Oh, hey, Varg's up again. Yeah, let's not fight him again. <sighs> Unless you to. want to. We're gonna have to. No, we're not. Lower level. He'll make Just it through. Killed. He'll make I'm it through. No, you're not. You need to go back and heal. <laughs> I'll I'm find sorry. I'll find the next warband for us. Um, if he dies, I'll just res him. <laughs> That's a horrible thing to say. But they're a treat. That's like the cartoon I saw was asking patients on why you didn't tell them that the water was shallow, and her reply was because I'm still working on my res deed. <laughs> Where did you see a MMO related cartoon finally? This is what I want to know. There we go. Let's see, that was let's see the brass, I believe that was that was the comment the brass who used to put up maps of each of the local areas when they came out and that one came with the waterworks map. Ah, cool. And she was doing a lot of the Lotro stuff until she started working for Sony. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are there any up in the high knoll? I don't remember. Well, I I believe that's where the Grim is. Yeah, that's right. All right. Have you done anything else this week, Drac? Um, besides uh, Defiance, like I said, I ran some Arc Falls, and I also ran some of uh, the Season 2 quest line. I started running the Season 2 quest line, which it's getting pretty interesting, um, getting kind of hard. I did get some new weapons, though, so it's making it a little easier. That was it for Defiance. I also started playing a new game I got from Bundle Stars. I had never heard of it until I seen Bundle Stars had it in their bundle. It's called Blood Knights. It's basically a hack and slash RPG with a little bit of platformer thrown in just because, you know, why not? <laughs> um, you're basically a vampire hunting knight that gets bonded to a vampire and then you get turned into a vampire yourself. So then you're now fighting your former friends and you're trying to cure yourself and it's pretty fun. Uh, if you like hack and slash, it's basically just a big hack and slasher is all it is. Um, I just started playing it. I'm enjoying that a lot. And that's really about all I did this week. All right. And uh, finally, what have you been up to? All right. On Arkenstone, I... I see. I ran Tuckboro, and I was in that group with Drac on the field trip yesterday, where we had our wonderful time 
with Telegear. We are a strong lot. We will survive. And not particularly successful, but as you Are we anywhere all near the same place or what? I'm headed towards this warband arrow that's on my mini map that's way over on the edge of the map over here apparently. Uh okay. Which uh, warband easy... arrow? The one to the southeast or the one to the north southwest or northeast? It says Heinel's Blizzard is over here. No, the south over here. Oh yeah, okay. South. The Heinel's Blizzard, okay. Yep. I don't know why the High Knolls Blizzard is way over in the White Shots. <laughs> but it is. Yeah, well, of course. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it happens sometimes. Uh, it just doesn't know its way anymore now that Wildermore has been saved. I'm a grim cowboy. Thought you went to the college you went to so you wouldn't have to be a cowboy. Yeah, well, anyway. I think you guys are down the hill from where you need to be. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. he moved. Is he up on top of the hill? Yep. That I just fell down. Right where I am on here. Of course he yeah. is. Okay, we got about half the group where they need to be. Wait. And apparently they're already fighting, so I'm going to fight. Well, if, if that's a solo war band, isn't it? So it's going to be dead before he gets. That, well, the level 81 came up here and he aggroed him. You know what, I'm just going to yep. let you guys kill it. You'll be fine. I don't know where I'm going. And we killed it. Yep. So that was exciting. I'm surprised it lasted that long. <sighs> now what? Now, I believe there's still another one... I think around. there's one up in the high knolls. Yeah, well, we might not go too far up in the high knolls. We might just make well, our way around the like lake. It looks like it disappeared. Because yeah. I, had, I saw it a moment ago just before we went after this one. And we'll see if he appears when we're up here. But if not, then we're just going to... Well, my problem is I can't... I don't know where Anding is going because he never announces which way he's going. And are people going in he's, different directions? He's going north. Actually, everybody's going the same direction as me, finally. I see, I see a couple of people going to in the... I saw someone going to the southeast, and I was following that person for a while before I realized that I was following the wrong person. Well, they were in the southeast, but they were headed north. No, the person was heading in the opposite direction. Oh, well, follow me. <laughs> I thought we learned about the this. The problem is I don't know which one you necessarily are. When you have all these little arrows in there, you can't tell us. Yeah, but if you look, finally, green. there's a button called M. When you press <laughs> button called M, it shows a lighter dot. <laughs> M? M. You know, the map. Yes, but if I'm going on the map, then I fall down cliffs. And this well, is I can't help you with that. <laughs> I can't help that. you. Surely you can stop, look on the map for directions so that you go the right way. At this point, you guys are going? Oh, my. Right, yeah, I guess you guys are going up to that warband. I'll try to find the next one. I don't see it up here. Yeah, I don't see it up here either. That's why I'm just yeah, going around. Yeah, that's what I, <clears throat> I think someone killed it while we were yep. well, I'm already going after circuit, Mr. Blizzard. So. so, anyway, what else have you been up to, Drank, or is that it? Uh, that's uh, it. Pineleaf is gone. Okay, Pineleaf, what have you been up to? All right, let's see. All right, I 
on Firefoot, I my minstrel there reached level 21, finished the skirmish tutorial, ran a skirmish there. On Gladden, I I reached level 36 on my Bjorning, and I'm questing in the troll shawls. Nice. Ouch. 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 What? <laughs> what happened? My mount was sliding down a cliff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. The, crunch, crunch, crunch. See, on Landerville, I... My lore master reached level 16. Oh, hey, there is a warband up here. Look at that. Oh, hey, there he is. Well, yes. you can fight him a lot. <laughs> okay. I'll probably win. Up this way, I think. All right. My minstrel performed with the TSO, the Starlight Orchestra, for at Winterstock, and we had a pretty nice show there. It's a solo one. Uh, where, where is he? It's the uh, oh Some carcass. Other... Oh, he's just a giant name. troll. Oh, just a troll. Dead troll. <laughs> okay. Carcass with the K is now a carcass with the C, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh wonderful. Let's see. How do I handle this? Oh, get rid of that. Oh, great. A Thornhope banner. All right, now, where is everybody? Oh, and I'm and, heading south. Oh, he's heading toward the four law. Apparently, I finally unlocked the spotted war steed. And then another spotted war steed. <laughs> Getting a lot of spotted war steed. You have to get it from your warband loot. Oh. Let's see. And I just get 42 marks and nothing else. <laughs> yep. There's a warband um, right before you go into the world called Foul Wing, I think. There's oh, also yeah. the one that I'm following. Vaz, the one we've already killed? No. Balcharad. Oh, Balcharan. Okay. Hold on, I gotta get to you. Cliff. All right, let's see. On Winfola, my Bjorning reached level 70. Actually, 70. No, I, actually, I reached 73, and, I, and I'm questing in Dunland. I just finished that part where you have a little visit to Isengard. All right. What do you think of the Bayorning in the uh, 70s, Pine Is that your highest character on life? Oh, let's see. I'm. For a Bayorning, I think I, I mean. passed you. So, yeah, that's my highest Bayorning right now. Uh, what are you thinking of it so far? Working out pretty well. All right. Is it still your favorite more than the Warden? <laughs> <laughs> well, the big this. Now, I remember when you were talking <laughs> about what are your what you say what you like and dislike about the various classes. I couldn't think what my thing was with the Bjorning. That was before I could remember. The one thing that is a troublesome with the Bjorning and where see where are you at? And that is that the Bjorning is a that's right, it's a pure melee class, which of course is a, occasionally can be a real pain. But it's definitely my favorite of the pure melee classes. 
All right. And let's see the. So. See, I also played quite a bit of Don't Starve, and I found all sorts of creative ways to die. I don't think I literally starved, but, but whenever I'm getting close to starving, I do something really reckless in order to try to get some food and usually get killed doing that. So I guess I have starve-induced deaths. Well, we're going, apparently. And it's dead. Keep forgetting that you can't finish in combat. They should change that for Warband Quest at least. <sighs> what are you still in combat with? Stop killing stuff. <laughs> yeah, because I don't want something to pop in my inventory. <laughs> yeah. I, I, because I have my inventory has been full for the, the last 15 minutes. <laughs> All right, next warband. Maybe we can go to a village and drop off some loot before we go. <laughs> the show's almost over. Next warband. Okay. <laughs> okay, following or Vol? Oh, we were done Vols, right? We're going towards the north one. I think we have already done him. So yeah. Okay, that'll be. Following this. Mm -hmm. Following's gonna be one of those that's gonna take about five seconds. Yep. I mean, it's at the start of the zone for one, so that's kind of implied. Well, then the fact that following is a solo. Yep. I have a lot of characters whose only war band in this region is following. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm the same way. So what else have you done this week, Pineleaf? All right, I think that covers everything. All right. Well, this week we actually did get a Patreon mention, so big thanks to Brittany for supporting us on Patreon. And to help support Lotra players, simply go to the no donations page where you can help support the Players Alliance on Patreon. There you'll find rewards, including a mention on the podcast of your choice or even... Guest for an episode on Loacher Players News or Adventures. As long as the show keeps going. <laughs> 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 and you can email... I think it'll go for a while, because it took us longer than I thought it would to take out all these warbands today. Because we it's been basically the whole episode, and we only got through, you know, half of Rohan. So it'll be interesting to see where we go. Plus, we still got epic battles to do, since we're on our higher level characters now. So... We'll see what right? happens. Oh, you already killed him. No wonder. Now we already killed him. Oh. <laughs> oh, fortunately, I already had the quest in my log. There you go. Uh, I keep aggroing. All right. Let's make our way over to the Intwood and then out of this zone. And while we're doing that, you can email us podcast at lotraplayers.com specifying four adventures. You can follow us on Twitter. The Players Alliance at Players Ally, Lotro Players at Lotro Players, Andang at PVMP, uh, Andang underscore Andang. I don't even know my own Twitter. Andang at PVP underscore Andang. <laughs> Draculetta at Draculetta underscore 70 dose. Pineleaf at Pineleaf Needles. And Terriadwin at Princess Terriada. Terradia. Terriada. <laughs> <laughs> I knew how to pronounce it, but it's I'm still being hung up because we have different Twitters now, and it's not in the same order, and I'm not used to it. I'm a creature of habit, I guess. I've done this so many times in a row. But anyway, follow Terry Adwin. She's <laughs> an awesome person. All right. Let me, I'm trying to make my way around this building. There we go. And by building, I mean town. You can follow the Players Alliance live shows on Mondays at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, DDO Players News, 
Thursdays at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, Guild Wars Players News, and Saturdays at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, Lotro Players News, and you will not want to miss January the 24th live, because we will be having uh, Dr. Corey Olson, the Tolkien Professor, at least that is the plan right now. Uh, he does have a, a very uh, changing schedule, so that might change, but for right now, that's the plan. And you can join us for our live shows at lotroplayers.com slash live. And you can join us on Landerville for Lotro Players Adventures each and every Saturday for as long as the show continues, which at this rate we're looking at maybe episode 50 will be our last show. We'll see what happens there. And uh, you can join us for that. Just send a tell to Andang and we'll get you added to the group as long as uh, we have enough room. If we're doing a six-man and not enough people to make a bigger group, then we might not. But other than that, we should be good to go. So anyway... Thank you guys so much for listening, and we'll see you again next week. Why am I the only one next to this war band? Because we're done. <laughs> because we're done. <laughs> oh, we're done. We are not going to fight. Con oh, we already done Connog. Yeah, guess, we already right? did all of them. I thought. Connog, I I didn't know we did the raid already. Yeah, yeah we already we did. did. That's the first one we did. Oh, okay. Because remember, we made the Congo joke. Oh yeah, you are right. We did. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. We're just making our way out of Wildermore and over to where we can prepare for the next place. But uh, we don't need uh, that to be on the show. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you again next week for more adventures as we take on warbands in the next part of Rohan. But till then, thank you guys so much.